When I came out in 1965, homosexual activity between men was illegal. You could go to prison for it and you could be attacked socially. The future for me looked very unhappy and very uncertain. There was a level of self-censorship. So you were constantly uh, just monitoring your behavior, who you were out to, what you said. It took me a lot of time to come out and tell anyone, but when I did, I literally just soared from that moment. I'm really lucky because all my family totally accepted me. Like, I didn't have a single person in my life reject me or have a problem with me being trans. I don't live in a mansion and I didn't come out on Vanity Fair. I came out in my council estate, so it wasn't this big glamorous thing. At work, there was no way I was going to mention anything at all. At the beginning of my work life, for a number of years there, I kept my sexuality very secret. As a teacher, you had to be very careful, and I would never come out to pupils, and I think that was a pity. I have jobs where the managers are absolutely lovely and we all make jokes, and I feel completely comfortable just being myself. We applied to become foster parents. There were people that thought, hmm, this maybe is not the best thing. But I wouldn't change it for the world. It was absolutely brilliant. I cannot wait to start a family. Not right now, because I'm quite young, but once I'm a bit older, that is my go-to thing. Civil partnership and marriage was one of the huge changes for us because it was a radical legitimization of who we are and what we were. Amazing when we got married. I it think. was so, um, it was ridiculously romantic. Yes. And it was great, wasn't and it? And almost unreal, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, totally, totally. For somebody that's coming out or confused, I definitely say own it, be confident, be who you are. It's worthwhile to meet with other LGBT people because it's the start of a road to self-awareness and to pride. I was invited to be on the Stonewall Young Leaders Programme. That's actually one of the things that I think helped me accept myself as trans. I don't know if I would be sitting here proud now if it wasn't for Stonewall. The Stonewall Young Leaders Programme changed my life. It was literally the most amazing thing. I have learned so much about not only myself, but about other people and the struggles that other people have gone through within our community. It's very empowering that there are other people who also share a desire for fairness and for justice and for love. I'm privileged to volunteer at Stonewall on the helpline. I still see examples of prejudice. It's the unity and community that's got us here today. Though we're different, we're together in our difference. It's the same people attacking us, it's the same people bullying us in schools, and it's the same people murdering us. And I think we wouldn't be here now if we weren't all fighting for the same cause. The LGBT community is extremely diverse, and it's often pulling in different directions against each other, but it's at its most powerful when it comes together because it needs to stand up, it needs to publicize, it needs to protect. And only then are we going to make the real moves in attitudinal change.